right guys here we are it's uh september the 23rd deer season 2023 we're kicking it off this morning yeah, i got about a 30 minute walk to get back in here to where i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to this same spot that i was showing you guys yesterday where it funnels down i've got a south wind just like i was hoping to hunt this spot so i think it'll work out pretty good so like i said i got about a 30 minute walk to get back in here so I'm going to start heading that way, get up in the stand, and get ready for a kickoff. So here we go. Alright guys, here we are. we got to sit up in the stand. About 15 or 20 minutes until daylight. Got everything set up. Got the camera set up. There's actually a couple deer right here below my stand when I got here. A couple does it looked like. I can actually see my breath a little bit this morning. I still got that wind coming out of the south. I think it's going to be a good morning. This is a good spot. I got a lot of faith in it, but it's still real early in the season. It can be tough this time of year, so I'm going to sit here for until about 10 o'clock or so and see what happens. Let's get rolling.
on that toe there. She never, she's right here under me the whole time, just 10 yards. She never smelled me or anything. They come in just where I expected them to come in at over there. I'm going to keep on a setting. I got one down. No swagger later in the shade right over there. She didn't go 10, 15 yards. Fell over. I'm going to hang out here for a while, probably till about 10 o'clock or so. See what we can see. So let's keep on going. Well, guys, that's a wrap for this morning. <clears throat> it's been somewhat of an exciting morning this, this morning. Uh, done a little dough management. And, uh, I was hoping to maybe get a shot at a good buck this morning, but hey, we got some deer meat on the ground. That's the main thing. And uh, had a little bit of fun. Good way to start out the opening morning. One thing could have been better if it had been a nice buck, but hey, I'm, I'm ready to eat some deer meat and I want to get down and pack this dough out and get it cleaned up, get it dressed out and get it home, maybe jerk some back straps out and and uh, dice them up, roll in some flour and eat some back straps here in a little bit. So looking forward to that. But it's been a pretty good morning. Deer's been pretty active. I've seen at least five or six different deer just right here in front of me and uh, <clears throat> they've been moving pretty good it's not real cool it's probably i'm not even sure exactly what it is i think it's about I think it's about 65 70 degrees somewhere in there but it, uh, it's supposed to start slowly cooling down here in the next few days so i'm hoping it'll get good i can't hunt tonight i got some stuff going on with family and stuff but i'm gonna be back here tomorrow morning I got another spot that I've got in mind to hunt. I may hunt tomorrow afternoon to see how things go. But this is a really good spot. I've been happy with it so far. These deer come in just where I was expecting them to. I've had a south wind all morning. And this is just a, just a really good spot. Got three different trails coming in. This one spot right here below me. And this doe actually came in within 10 yards right here below me. I mean, just right on me, just sitting there browsing. Just messing around, didn't have a care in the world. And I thought, well, as good a time as any. She finally, she stayed in one spot for the longest time. She wouldn't move. And I was gonna shoot her first chance I got. And finally she decided to go back up this hill towards the other doe behind her here. And that's when I took the shot and got her. She didn't run 10 yards right there. And she actually <laughs> ran up the hill, up towards this field up here above me a little ways, then fell over. So that was nice, that'll save me an extra. 20 yards of dragon right there so that'll be nice but anyway i'm gonna get down out of the stand it's about 10 o'clock right now and i'm gonna get down get up here and check this dough out and see if i can find my arrow and get her out of here and get it to the house so let's go all right guys i made it down off the stand and let's get over here see if i can find my arrow and I'll show you guys what kind of blood trail maybe this thing left. I'll show you where she's at up here. She didn't go nowhere, but let's go here and see if I can find my arrow. Show you guys right quick the exit went on this deer. You can see I'm a swacker right there, but look at this. Look at that hole right there. Look at the bubbles coming out of there. I'm hitting them lungs and coming out kind of down here by the heart. Just a huge exit hole. Swackers all the way right there. Let me get this girl. Packed out of here and headed to the house. So we'll see y'all again. We're gonna I'm gonna get back at it tomorrow and hopefully get a get a good buck on the ground. But it's been a successful morning this morning trying to get some deer meat on the ground. We got that done. So let's get her out of here. I'll see y'all on the next one.
everything set up, ready to go. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this afternoon. It's going to be a good evening. We had, I didn't get a chance to go this morning. We had some hard rains come in. And it was a pretty rough morning. Didn't get out that much. Man, the old nads are bad out here right now. But up in the stand, ready to go. Got the camera and everything set up. It's go time now. Just waiting game. And uh, got a really good spot right here. Got a ridge up here to my right coming down. Got a trail coming in to my left right here behind me that comes out in this field right here. And then right out here, right out here in front of me, I got where this ridge comes down and a food plot down here in front of me that, and a wood line that comes around this way. It's just kind of a, all this is just kind of a funnel right in here. It's just a, just a super good spot. So I'm excited. I think this spot will pay off eventually this year. It may not tonight, but I think this spot, I think I'll kill a good bug right here in this spot. And there's a couple, there's a couple nice bugs used in this area. It's just a matter of catching them just right, getting them in here, and getting a shot on them. But we're going to see what happens. I'll get the, get an arrow knocked, get ready, and see what happens.
นี่y'all well, made it back here to the truck and uh got to see a little action tonight you know had a good buck come in uh, at one point he was there about 15 yards he come right underneath my stand i wasn't able to get the camera on him right away because he kind of snuck up on me just right here behind me i didn't really get a chance to swing the camera around he was so far to my right but uh yeah had some action he was a pretty nice buck you know he was right there borderline i debated on shooting him there a couple times i was actually drawn back at one point 
and I, it just kind of hit me. I kind of thought, man, it's it's the second day of season. Um, we got all year ahead. You know, I know there's better bucks around here in this certain area. So I held off this time, and I hope he makes it through the year. And next year he will be a nice buck for sure. Next year, and he's probably a, he's probably a three year old buck, maybe. Um, I don't think he's three and a half. He's probably a, he's a young three year old buck, and I think he'll he'll be a really nice buck next year. And I hope he makes it through. But guys, that's that's it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed it. We're just, I'm just kicking off the 23 deer season, and uh, got some meat in the freezer. I popped me an old doe yesterday, and got some meat on the ground for now and uh that's the main thing it ain't always about getting out there and killing a big monster or boone and crockett buck every time you know if the man's able to get out there and he's got his health and and getting a tree stand he has the ability to do that that's the main thing you know the good the good lord he's blessed us with this beautiful world out here and and you know if you can get out there with your friends and your wife and your kids and and your family just get out there guys and, and it's 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 the best therapy that you can have. I mean, being out there and uh, seeing the good Lord's beauty that he's made, you know, he's a he's a heck of an artist. I mean, it's just, like I said, it's just really good therapy for me getting out there in that tree stand, sitting there and listen, you know, just listen to all the sounds of the of nature and just being out there. I mean, it's hard to explain. I'm not good with words, but, you know, just get out there and enjoy it while you can. If you got your health, you got everything, you know. Get out there and take your kids, take your wife, take your family, anybody in your family, take them hunting, you know. And get out there and enjoy it every minute that you can and uh, just soak it all in. You know, hunting and fishing and trapping has been a it's a huge passion of mine. always will be to the day I die. I'd, I'd rather do that as, as anything, you know, especially with my kids and, and family. And uh, But <clears throat> a good day getting out there on an old frosty morning, getting up in a tree stand, getting a shot at a big buck, hearing them hearing them deer walking through the woods there just ain't nothing like it there's no gobbler gobbling down a ridge top man it's just it don't get no better than that and and uh, <clears throat> it just it's as good that's as good as it gets but hey hope you all enjoyed this episode if you ain't already hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'd really appreciate it i like i said i, I really appreciate y'all watching checking out my videos go check out my jugging videos catfishing videos from this last spring and I go check them out and see some action on that. And uh, till the next one, guys. That's all I got for now. And I um, got to go back to work tomorrow. And um, this next coming weekend, I'm going to get back out in the woods and hopefully get something killed. So y'all stick with me, and I'll see y'all on the next one.